Okay, so this is my go-to warm-up for front squats. So first thing we're gonna wanna do is accumulate time in the bottom of the squat to open up the hips, knees, ankles. You can do that either by just hanging out, maybe using a pole to support you and try to maintain good posture, drive the knees forward, right? Open up the hips a little bit and hang out. If you can do that without a pole, that's ideal. If you're using the pole, try not to use it so much that if you let go, you fall backwards, okay? And another thing that you can do, if you have tight ankles, and even if you don't, just to mobilize them a little bit more, is to hang out with the bar right above the knee joint, trying to flex your ankles into as deep of a position as possible, and that will kind of open up the ankles as we do this. So you can accumulate somewhere between two and three minutes, maybe 30 seconds aside with the weight, 30 seconds on this side with the weight. You can put it on both and drive one forward, then the other forward. You can just hang out in the bottom of a deep squat, try to feel your quads on the way up, but that's go-to number one. The next thing we're gonna tackle then is the front rack position, which a lot of people struggle with. So we'll place the bar in the rack. You're gonna to wanna to grab right in the middle of the bar. And then from here, very important that you make sure your hand is outside your shoulder so we can work on external rotation. So your hands aren't in your neck when you're trying front squat. Use this other hand to support it. So you kind of lift it out like this, and then you can kind of square off. And you're trying to drive your elbows up. You should feel this maybe in the shoulder a little bit, trying to externally rotate a little bit more, and a lot in the elbow, trying to teach the elbow kind of how to fold up for the front rack position. So the key is try to breathe and relax. It's not the most comfortable stretch in the world. Um, so just try to breathe and relax. About 30 seconds on each side. So we'll switch, place it back in the rack, make sure you grab in the middle of the bar, we'll hit the other side. If you're right hand dominant, probably, your left hand's gonna be a little bit harder to get more external rotation out of it, because you have more external rotation in your dominant hand from throwing and all kinds of stuff growing up, hopefully. Uh, so folding up the elbows, try to breathe, relax. Keep the elbow up high. Don't let it drop. Try to keep the wrist kind of straight. Okay, so we do that. Now from here, elbows are kind of loose and warmed up. Shoulders are a little bit more open. Ankles, hips, knees all open a little bit. We'll take the bar. You want to keep a full grip on the barbell, if at all possible. Sometimes people are really tight, so they have to go under their fingertips a little bit. Okay, but it's not ideal. So try to keep full grip on the barbell, drive the elbows up, and you can even use your chin to try to keep the bar down so it's not coming up here. So we'll do five of these. Elbows up, proud chest, bring it back down. Elbows up, proud chest, bring it back down. Five, bring it up, place it on the traps, and then same thing. Drive your elbows up, working on external rotation, opening up the lats and triceps, bring it back down, five of those. And a more advanced drill, if you need a little bit more, would be after this, do the French press for five, where you're pulling it down, it's behind the neck press, but you're driving your elbows forward as you do it, and driving back up, but you don't have to do that one. So from here we have it in the front rack position, should feel a little bit more mobile and open, and then you're just gonna wanna hit somewhere between five and 10 slow controlled squats. Really letting the knees drive forward, tracking over the toes, pushing the ground away, really feeling the quads. Try to maintain a full grip on the barbell. You could do one to two rounds of that. And that is my ideal warm up for front squatting, especially focusing on opening up the front rack position, which so many people struggle with in the beginning.